Welcome to Starwell Foundation. Mr. Malvarmo, sir, I'm here to ask a favor. Well, really, I'm... I'm asking you to grant a wish. What's this? Of the two you got a job for me? Need to ask a super criminal for help, huh? Well, what is it? Gonna pay me to ice an ex-boyfriend? Or a mother-in-law? I don't do hit jobs. A scare job, sure. No, it's nothing like that. I'm from the Starwell Foundation, and a child has been asking to meet you. Can we, uh, sit down? You're in a villain bar. Do what you want. Um, thanks? So, it's my first week as a facilitator, and believe it or not, these kids have favorite villains. And you're one of them. Are you familiar with the Starwell Foundation and what we do? First week and already using the royal we like you're part of the team. That's cute. I plan on being there a long time, because I like helping people. That's why I'm here asking you for maybe an hour of your time to visit some kids. Nope. Sounds like a trap. I don't know you. I don't know him. I don't know if you're really from the Foundation. Sounds like a chance to waltz me into a room full of cops and heroes. Or I can vouch for her. And who are you? What, your muscle? Daddy dearest? Family. I got us in here. This isn't happening. Well, unless I'm getting paid. I, uh... I'm not authorized to approve payroll to new stars yet. In fact, my boss won't even know we'd be... You mean, if I do get caught, I can't even point to the foundation I'm there with to cover for me? <laughs> I'm getting a drink. Stay here. Oh, okay. Or I'll have where he's having. Is this where you reason with me or threaten me because you think you can take me? I'm doing neither. I'm asking you to give her a chance. And if you go along with it, I'd ask you to keep an eye out for her. And, uh... You can trust me. That tattoo? But that means you're- Retired. I'm a ghost. And I'm just looking out for my, uh, my niece. Which one were you? The last one. So out of the four of you, you're- I'm not here to threaten you because I know it wouldn't work. I'm not here to team up with you. I'm only here to tell you Meredith is on the level. She's not a snitch or a spy. She wants to help these kids, and you're a part of doing that. I am here to tell you that if anything goes wrong, then I'll answer to you. I'll fix it. You know I'm capable. So you're saying if I end up in a cell because I'm helping her, then you will- I will get you out of that cell. Well, now I feel reassured and insured. She still has to convince me, though. So this kid, the, uh, fan. God, that sounds weird. We don't get fans. Anyway, are you sure this kid is legit? They could be playing you. Are the parents groupies? Or someone I stole from in the past? Or is this a ploy to get close to me? No, she's a child. She's smart, but not evil. Uh, not... We vetted her parents. The regular folks, there's no connection to other heroes or villains or law enforcement. I, I can show you a picture. What the hell is this? Is that supposed to be me? Um, yeah. If we think we can't get the person, we hire an actor in costume. It didn't work. She could tell it wasn't the real you. Huh. Yeah, he's too handsome. You can tell he's never had his ass kicked. Is me doing this gonna piss off your boss? Your co-workers? Those uh, heroes that do this charity stuff? We were at Starwell and doing it for the same reasons. They might think it's dangerous, but it won't be. And the heroes don't have to find out. Some of the staff might hate your guts. If they've had to deal with hyperthermic patients and cold injuries, you might be a burden to them. Well, in my line of work, you learn to value how many people you can piss off, especially the heroes. Anything to make them lose their cool. Is that a yes? You'll... you'll do it? Sure, I'm in. There's always a frost time for everything. Great. How's tomorrow night? It's St. Leo Hospital. Should we meet at around- Inside. I can get in. 
Find me in the stairwell facing the Larkov Theater. 11 p.m. Are you worried about what could happen to your home, car, or even yourself if a superpowered battle causes damage to your property? Does your insurance cover acts of powers, super crimes, or heroic intent? Ask your agent, and when they say no, come ask us. We've got you super covered. Only we can guarantee protection and assurance if the battle between good and evil destroys your home, throws your vehicle into space, or causes you a simple bystander, a considerable injury. When you can't trust anyone else to keep you safe, you can rely on us. We are Dependico. Mr. Malvarmo, are you here? Of course I am. What's a criminal if not honest? <laughs> That's a joke. Let's go meet my uh, fans. Sorry, no visitors after... Oh, you're back? With the... He's... He's really him. You're the real guy. Real as rain. No, this isn't happening. I'm not letting you in here. I'm calling the police. Wait, please. The kids really want to meet him and he's not going to do anything, okay? Just for a few minutes and we'll be gone. No, I hate these villains. I'm doing my best not to stab him right now. Well, this sounds personal. You're too defined to be scared. You're mad. You ruined my life! Then my apologies. How'd I do that? You crippled my boy... <sighs> ex-boyfriend. I'm so sorry. When did this happen? Eight months ago. <sighs> what was he? SWAT? rent cop Security guard. For the Keeley's building. You broke in twice and froze his hand off. We spent a lot of our savings trying to get him help and he... We. It didn't work out. Well, that's a shame, but I've never made anyone lose a hand. Fingers or toes, sure. I only hit the Keyless building once. He did lose a finger when you broke in the first time. And told him to cooperate, which he probably didn't do, so I iced him a little. Yeah, last year. He was a loser and you're better off without him. <gasps> you son now of a- Now that's mean. He wasn't at his post because he was with a girl in the men's room. It wasn't you. Fail. When he came out, I surprised him, and he didn't do what I said. He failed. He didn't stop me. Fail. And he didn't call for help. Four fails. The girl followed order. She was fine. No, you're lying. He wouldn't. Black hair, lots of earrings, like six on each ear. Tree of life tattoo on her neck. That's his ex. That bastard. I'm gonna tell you what happened, because believe it or not, this is part of my job. I know this kind of guy. I know the company he worked for. They wouldn't fire him for that. Security guards are there to call for help, or scare away drunks, not battle supervillains. If he lost his job, it's because he quit or stopped showing up. No, he s went to work still. He left the house, but he didn't go to work. He probably drained your bank account trying to buy tech and weapons to get revenge on me. You know how I know this? Because he bought one of my freeze guns. Some of us terrible bad guys do this on purpose, where we get a dealer to hawk our old tools that'll backfire on schmucks who aren't supposed to have that kind of power. We can spot the loose cannons. The freshmen who will make a scene and make life hard for the rest of us who are real quiet. Your bow became obsessed, stole your money, bought my weapon which froze his hand, which is what it was supposed to do. He could have gotten help, but probably panicked. I never hit the Keylace building a second time. This was his excuse for being a five-time failure. If you ask me, he was dragging you down. I did you a favor. Now, if you'll excuse me... That was harsh. Please don't do that to the kids. I'm practical, not a monster. Psst. Hey, kids. Anyone awake? Miss Mary? What are you- I was cold that someone said pretty freeze can I meet Malvarmo. And I had to winter who had such a good taste in villains. Malvarmo! 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 Before I get invested, I understand when the heroes come around they deputize all of you and give you badges. I hope none of you have those. Oh my god, you made them throw out their plastic badges? And trust me, not all of them. You! You still have yours. Uh... 
Huh? <laughs> well, that's okay. With you being the law in here, then you'll make sure I behave. I won't get up to no heisting since you're keeping an eye on me. Got it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, you want high fives or something? I'm not really great at my uh, social chills. Why do you do that? Why do you make so many puns? Oh, what's with the puns, eh? Well, since you asked me here for the meet and sleep, I guess I snow you an explanation. They're a distraction. That's it. Some of the heroes will let you banter. Others you can see coming and prepare for them. I don't usually want to engage in a fight, so I'm looking to make a getaway with the loot. They've decided they're taking you in, so don't bother reasoning with them. If you start saying gibberish, it'll give them pause, but they'll dismiss anything else you say. If you slip words where words don't fit, then it takes them a second. The dumb ones will try to counter pun you, and you don't care about the puns. Because that's your time to look around, find your distraction, escape, freeze blast them, flash coat the floor, ready a blinding snow blast, and whatever. <laughs> Before cameras were everywhere, the marks had a hell of a time describing what I looked like. Because instead of giving my description, the people I robbed are saying, Well, and then he said he wouldn't bring tears to my ice. And then I should weigh my frozen cons. And they don't say what I look like. The best is when I get away, and the cops ask where I am or which way I went, and they stare and say, Well, I don't snow. That's why I wanted to meet you, so I could thank you. Thank me for what, kid? Three years ago, when I was real little, my mom and me were walking home from the park, and we took some shortcut through an alley next to a bakery. And you came around the corner all huffing and out of breath and saw us and stopped. Oh? Oh, right, yeah. Look, you don't and have to- And you made to. ice walls on both sides of us, and your gun makes a scary sound, but I wasn't afraid. You reached in our bag and handed mommy a bunch of money and said, You don't snow which way I went, understand? You don't snow. And then you winked at me and crawled in the sewer where the ice melted really fast. <laughs> you would bribe witnesses? That's kinda brilliant. Shut up. Kid, you can't tell that story ever again. And the rest of you never heard it. Alright, you're all number one. You're all winters in my book. But now we gotta blow this icicle stand. Okay, kids. Get some sleep. We were never uh, here. Hey, nurse. Or if we were, what do you want? Placement actor again. I got 20k and for the faulty freeze gun. Don't. Dealer keeps a cut. Badges, but it, uh, how much did uh, ex-boyfriend with five Maybe fails take you first. for? Thirty-one thousand. That was great. You did great. Yeah. Not now. We gotta go. W what is something wrong? I saw a shadow on the rooftop across the street. I didn't want to believe it. You're supposed to have more dignity than robbing a hospital. You don't have to believe it, because I'm not. You're in full gear with weapon and... Miss, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. He's with me. You can lower your arrow. He won't do anything. Won't do anything first. Miss, please, step away. This is a wanted criminal with at least 20 open charges. He's a dangerous man, likely using you in some plot. No, I'm using him. Look, I'm a facilitator for the Starwell Foundation. I work with Angie. A child asked to meet Malvarmo, so I'm doing my job. That's it. That's why we're here. You work with Angie? And you're doing charity work? She's telling the truth as much as I advised against it. I do have a reputation to uphold. It's my first week, Mal is my first star, and this is my first successful grant. Could you please let us go on a high note without fighting? Not a chance! Let's make a deal, Oz. We'll say I was here to lift the financial papers or donors, or to get access to insurance payouts or some crappy paperwork, and you stop me. You're a hero, I get away. You drop some arrows, I spray some ice around, you're on the news, call it a night. I'm stopping you because you've broken the law not to be popular. Hey, are you guys gonna have a team up or are you gonna fight? What? Kids, get back inside, close your windows. Stop, let him go. But Shyla, you called me. I know, but he's just made these kids the happiest I've ever seen them. This is crazy. Mouth. Damn it, where'd they go?
I thought you hated him. I know. But he was right. And the kids... I'm sorry. Damn. A new component in power and energy conversion technology is getting its first live public demonstration today here at Gabriel Dynamics. Dr. Trafter is said to have been testing this revolutionary device and hopes it can make an impact on the future of Brava City and the rest of the world. The device itself is supposed to be able to absorb the energy of a number of sources and channel it either into a safe, usable, and stable energy to be transferred to the grid or contained by battery. We'll be seeing a demonstration later on featuring its multiple absorption attachments and an omni-converter said to equally redistribute a lightning strike, laser beams, and supposedly many forms of energy blasts from various powered individuals, which could mean significant options in law and civilian defense forces. We'll check back in with you later on for the live event. Thank you, Morgan Eves. Now on to Kent Stonewall, live at the Squirrel Farm. How are those squirrels doing, Kent? Wait, I'm sorry, we've got to go back to Morgan at Gabriel Dynamics. What's happening? We no sooner signed off when everything fell apart here. The energy converter itself is missing. The components it was attached to are completely disassembled down to each screw and bolt. A Gabriel Dynamics transport vehicle. Vehicle is on fire. Every guard and officer is down. Dr. Trafter is missing. This all happened in mere moments. It was so fast and we have no explanation how. No, no, you could, you could hear it. You could hear what was happening. Before it went missing and everything just fell apart, just over and over again, you could hear it. Just push, just push, push, push. Good morning. Jesus Christ. I did not think that you'd have the guts to come in. What? Why? If I'd have pulled a stunt like that, I would have left town. What stunt? Meredith, come with me. Mr. Jin's office. Now. I don't understand. Mary. At any point, did we authorize you to seek out and bring a supervillain to a hospital children's ward? I hired an actor, just like I was instructed. And then? I may have gone back with another person. Was that the real Mulvarmo? Did you bring a wanted criminal into a hospital and then help him escape from law enforcement? I believe Oz is considered a vigilante, and not exactly law enforcement. Magenta Thorn. That's his name. Don't call him Oscar. <laughs> Oscar? You told him we work together? You haven't even been given a department. I can't facilitate heroes if they think I'm paired up with someone who's friendly with villains. I will lose every one of my stars. I went back because they didn't believe the actor, and I felt like we lied to them, and I knew I could cheer them up with the real Malvarmo. You were not clear to do a second grant or bring a villain with you. I can't trust you with our clients, our other departments, our stars, our grants. We got numerous calls from the board of directors at St. Leo. Magenta Thorne woke up Angie at 1 a.m. that night asking if it was true, and the kids... The kids said they hadn't melt anyone and never thaw a thing. And then they would giggle for 20 minutes. Sounds like the kids had a great time. Starwell can't employ a rogue agent. There's too much of what we do at stake. Clean out your desk. I have to let you go. Wait, okay, yes. I found Malvarmo. The real one. He's not a bad guy. He was great with the kids. He helped a nurse. He made the kids laugh. He granted a wish. And I was there. Angie, you got 17 requests for someone and I fulfilled it. This child got what they wanted, they were happy, and no one was hurt. 
Amazingly. I took that job that no one else wanted. It should have been impossible, but it wasn't. And if accomplishing the impossible isn't our goal, then what are you even doing here? He is a dangerous villain! Not as dangerous as you think. I'm sorry you've wasted your internship downstairs. I'd recommend not putting Starwell down on your resume or referral. If you're waiting for a goodbye handshake, <laughs> don't. Maybe I'll just keep going, make my own villain visit charity. It can't be that hard. Oh my god, I sound like a supervillain. Mary Dare! Bill? We need you to come back upstairs. Did they decide they aren't done yelling at me yet? Angie is completely swamped at her desk. Mr. Jin is taking a lot of phone calls right now, and the others are ashamed. But you need to come back inside. Mr. Jim? Bill, stay here for a sec. Angie, come back in here. Bill, tell her. We received an anonymous donation seconds after you left that read. I heard you're trying something new, please continue. And it's a considerable amount. As you know, our fundraiser gala is next week. A number of our charitable members who like coming to Hobnob with the Stars asked if the Ice Guy will be there too. They've never met a supervillain before. So that means... Angie, don't be coy. Come on in. How many? Sir. Word has traveled fast. However, you thought this would be a secret. It isn't. The clients, the kids, they talk to each other. A lot. Angie, what are we up to? 37. 37 what? 37 new requests from the children, our clients, to meet supervillains in the past hour. Our insurance and liability carrier said they support the new initiative. They aren't dropping us. They're open to negotiating a rate after a trial month. Oh, I never thought about the insurance. No one does. Our clients and donors want more of what you've done, Mary. We're not getting severe pushback from the police or the heroes, yet. We assumed we'd have blockades, but so far it's only speed bumps. My apologies for being so brash moments ago. I get very protective of the Foundation. We'll have to establish a chain of command between you, Jan, and myself, as there will be things I should and shouldn't know. We'll keep your work separate from Angie's, as there shouldn't be crossover. <coughs> I seem to have misplaced your termination papers. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Meredith Dare, if you'll accept, welcome back to the Starwell Foundation. The Starwell Foundation is a production of OMV Podcast, inspired by the Villain Wrangler community thread on Tumblr. Featuring voice actors Kay Giroux, Brett Kelly, Kristen Blakely Chesler, Michelle Arslan, Steph McGillivary, Babs Daniels, Sarah Gary, Joe Van Allen, Colin Vignalt, Ed Gogolski, Milta Vargas, and Alex Squires. Music clips by Kevin Mason, with additional music and sound effects from freesound.org, BBC Sound Effects, and Incomtech.com. If you like this episode, please let us know in the comments and share and subscribe. Visit Opinions May Vary on social media and ombpodcast.com for all of our past episodes with interviews, reviews, comics, artists, creators, actors, games, conventions, cosplayers, and much more. This ends the pilot season of the Starwell Foundation. Thank you for listening. Hey, Snowman, everything check out? Yeah, Abuelita, everything you said was accurate. Honest girl, honest gig. We ran into uh, Magenta Thorn, and but that wasn't her fault. And we got away, clean drift. Good. I was surprised she found you so fast. Yeah, me too. Uh, hey, do any of your files say anything about the girl's other family members? No. 
Her work papers and school files just mention parents. Huh. And no criminal history. You're doubting my sources? You know something I don't know? No, of course not, Abuelita. There was just a little something extra she had in her pocket that took me by surprise. I'm gonna have to do some other homework is all. Well, if you find something good, you'll share it all, right? Always. <laughs>